the Adopt Me Bank update was originally meant to be released back in 2018. Today we're going to see what went wrong, why it wasn't introduced and check out this in the actual game. If you'd like to have yourself a chance of getting a completely free legendary pet like this lucky giveaway winner, then be sure to leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe and comment down below. As you can see, I gave a bunch of my fans completely free pets recently and all of these were just by playing the game with me. So be sure to go and enter. Imagine going into Adult Me now, but instead of these five main buildings, we would have an extra one which would actually go and be a bank. So this area right here that is for rent could have been actually a bank inside of Adopt Me. However, the creators decided to go and change their mind and never release this into the game. However, we do have an actual look and we will be joining Bthink, the creator of Adopt Me's actual game, so we can see what this would have looked like. So there are two creators of Adopt Me, Bthink and New Fizzy, the two original founders. This right here is Bthink and this one right here is New Fizzy. Bthink in two set. <laughs> this is the official Instagram account for Bthink, the main creator of Adopt Me. And if we go and scroll back through all of their tweets, we will notice that they posted some interesting things back in the year 2017. In the year 2017, we have this the possible bank for Adopt Me. I kid you not, you can fact check this completely for yourself. This is genuine, feel free to browse back to 2017 to find this tweet. And if you want the exact date and time, it was 7pm on December the 31st of 2017, Beethink decided he would go and design a bank for Adopt Me. This right here is actually what he created. This is the model, it was actually implemented into Roblox, but just never got round to being added into Adopt Me. Now the question is, why did they not add it into the game, what would it have done, and how would a bank have worked in the game? Well, we'll discuss that all today. The most similar thing that we have to a bank in Adopt Me is the Build With Friends Piggy Bank, where you can go and deposit or set a budget, such as adding 10 bucks will allow you to have 10 bucks in your piggy bank, and then you can go and retrieve your budget and it would give you your 10 bucks back. However, this gains no interest and is just to allow your friends to go and build in your house. Meaning that having this bank doesn't actually give you any interest, so it's kind of pointless. The main reason why people have money in banks in real life is it's safe to store it and it will gain interest. Meaning, I have, so say for example, I put 100,000 Adopt Me cash into a bank inside of Adopt Me. After one year of leaving it in there, you'd probably come back with 150,000. Basically, there is interest, and this was something that could have been added into the bank. But unfortunately, we don't have a bank. There are lots of popular games which do have this and implement the feature where it then goes and gives you interest. Obviously, they decided not to go and add this because maybe it would have got too complicated for people, people might not have understood interest, or I don't mean just got bored and didn't like it. Because remember, this was made and designed in 2017. When the game wasn't too popular, I mean it was still getting 100,000 views, but it wasn't as popular as it was today. So that is why the building was different. Let me know in the comment section, would you like to see a bank added into Adopt Me? So let's go now and check this out and what it looks like in game. So to go and join this game, you need to go onto Bthink's profile and join Bthink's place number 17. And this is supposedly where this bank is actually located. So we're about to find out if this is actually true and what it looks like. Oh, I kid you not, it's right there. The bank from Adopt Me that was going to be introduced is right here. And it looks exactly like the photograph from the picture in 2017. So this bank is basically going to have been a building that would have gone and allowed you to deposit money. So I guess you could give it a safe space or gain interest in it. And unfortunately, this building was never finished. There wasn't finished doors on it. And at nowhere on this building does it say the word bank. Like, I think they need a big Adopt Me Bucks symbol on the front of this for it to make it look like a bank, because at the moment, it kind of just looks like a monumental building. However, the design of it 
looks pretty cool. I mean, there is lots of glitched gaps in the bottom and these things are flying all over the place, but obviously because it was a work in progress and never used, that is why it's a bit like this. It's sad to see that this is still available in the game, but was never introduced into Adopt Me. Obviously, the creator of Adopt Me spent a lot of time thinking out the concept, making the model of it, and making the building, but then just never introduced it into the game. Well, why did they do that? Obviously, introducing a bank would be a lot of coding. Maybe they didn't have enough time or didn't have enough knowledge to know how to code a banking system. Like, where would those bucks be going? And I'm sure people would find a way to claim more bucks than they put in to go and, like, hack the system. And I'm sure that's something that they'd have to have lots of security to. So I'm sure if Adopt Me was to go and add a bank now, their team is a lot bigger than what it used to be. Like when the game first started, it was literally just these two people making it, compared to now where I believe there is a team of over 50 people from around the world, which is pretty cool to see. The rest of this map is actually full of a bunch of random things, like we have this little noob over here, and then a bunch of random parts. I'm not sure what you're meant to do with these parts, Obviously, Bthink didn't um, attach these correctly. Um, I might be saying Bthink and Nufisi and mixing them up. I get confused who's done this. So let's go and check out the rest of this and see what else they have designed. This is a legendary bathtub. This was a vehicle they added into Adopt Me, and I guess they tested it out in here first. This is similar to the Adopt Me test server. If you've never seen the Adopt Me test server, it is a most recent server that you could have gone and joined to go and test upcoming updates, such as the speedboat update that might be coming into Adopt Me. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to go and check it out on my channel. As for now, the rest of this game created featuring the bank seems to be full of a bunch of random things which were actually implemented into the game. So this here is actually the pizza shop and that right there is the hospital. The reason why I know it's the pizza shop is because I've like glitched into the pizza shop before and I know what it looks like. So let's see, I believe if we keep jumping we should be able, okay, there we go. So if we jump through this hole, you can actually do this in the real pizza shop, by the way. Um, if we drop down into here, just like so. Yeah, now we're in the pizza shop. So if you actually wanna do that in the real Adopt Me, all you do is like jump up onto this or get a propeller or a grappling hook out. And you can actually do that in the real Adopt Me game, which is kind of funny. So this is the pizza shop before it was finished, I guess. I guess that's why this is all broken, because the creator just didn't finish it. And that's why there is a big fidget spinner. He loves fidget spinners, guys. Why? Why is there a fidget spinner there? We will never know the answer. Oh, I think I kicked it. Well, no more fidget spinners for you. So this is the original pizza shop, and I guess the rest of the stuff in here is um, just things that never got finished, or they did finish and just didn't use. Like, what is this big building? I, I don't know, but I kind of want to know. Let me know your opinions on the possible bank for Adopt Me. I mean, he said it was possible to be added in 2017. So I guess four years later, is it still possible? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, he said it's possible. At no point did he say when, I mean, you know, you know, this, he could add it today. Pro probably not, but they could because it's already made. They just need to whack some doors on it and say it's a bank. Everyone will be so excited if they saw this in the game though. Like I want a bank in Adopt Me and they designed it in 2017, but never added it. So that's kind of crazy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave these videos a thumbs up. Lots of research goes into them compared to, um, I don't know, I've never seen anyone talk about this on YouTube. So that's why I thought it'd be interesting. So leave this video a thumbs up, share with your friends and let them know that a bank could possibly come into the game. Hope you guys have a great and fantastic day. Use star code CANDY when purchasing Robux and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.